Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you all the new occlusion system I've made. And before I actually start moving around, let me just go back to the scene view so I can emphasize how big this actually is. As soon as it wants to do it, because it's on right now, it's going really slow because I don't have it turned on. But, um... As you can see, the scene view right here, there's a bunch of stuff. It may not look that big because we're really far out. And it's too slow for me to emphasize how big it actually is. But I just wanted to give you all an example of how, how sort of big it is, I guess, from this perspective. But um, right now, this is 20 square kilometers of terrain loaded with millions, and I mean millions, of trees and bushes. Okay. Now, if I go back to the game, as soon as it wants to go back to full screen, because like I said, it's extremely slow right now. In fact, it's so slow, if you look at the top right, where it says graphics, I'm getting 1.5, 1.6 FPS. That is how slow and sluggish it is. Okay, now if I just walk around, you'll see it's, it's horrible. Everything is loaded. Okay, now, time to show you the, the bread and butter to this culling system. And this is what makes it so much fa more fascinating. Okay, if I go to this, enable this. Enable this. Oh, I'm going to remove it so it re adds it. Okay, if I come here. Okay. I know I'll just leave it back on there actually. Yeah, I'll just, okay. It'll put it on there. Let me just hit um, force generate all real quick. That way it puts it back on there by itself. Okay. Just come up to here. Enable the Dynacol Master. Okay. And, um, okay. The settings, I'm not sure if I really need to explain them to you. Um, pretty much it, how far away from each cell do we need to be? How big is each cell? How tall do I want the cells so we can, you know, reach up on the top of the mountains and stuff? And what tag does our player have? And if it finds the object with this tag, select it. That's our player. And right now I'm only culling trees because that's all I have on the map right this minute. But, um, yeah. Alright. Now if I go ahead and make sure everything's turned on. Okay. Make sure this has everything enabled what I want. Copy components. Okay. For some reason it's not putting the script back on here that it needs. Maybe it'll do it whenever I hit play. Let's see. So I go ahead and hit play, let it load. It'll, of course, it'll have a little bit of lag spikes. This will be the essentially the loading time for the game. Because it's going to have, um, in just a second, lag starts popping up. It's because it's generating 20-something terrain trunks at one time. So it'll get a bunch of lag at first. But that'll be part of the loading screen, I suppose. But after this initial lag spike, you'll never even notice another spike again, except for maybe... Um, a quarter of a quarter of a second kind of thing but our right, frames just went back up 44 46 you know if I look straight down FPS will skyrocket back up to 90 I mean that's the thing the system isn't slow it's, just, it's essentially like it doesn't even exist the only reason the frames drop is because you know overdraw like when you got a tree in front of a tree like this it's essentially a thing called overdraw is trying to draw transparent meshes behind others and it's just, I guess it's intensive on performance operations, I guess. Right now, I haven't changed the sun. It's going really fast right this second. <laughs> As you can tell, look at, the, look at this. The, the performance is just amazing. I mean, there's not even hardly a big frame spike at all. I mean, well, there's none, actually. Except for the normal terrain generation, like, which, like I said, it's like a 0 0.025 millisecond. So, quarter of a quarter of a second. <laughs> but, yeah. And you see how amazing this is? And let me go to the game view, or scene view now, so you can see what's going on. Actually, you know what, let me go back to the weather system. And I will turn off the day-night cycle, because it's, it's um, not what I need right in a second. So change it to none, change it back to daylight, so I'll put it on 12. Reset these, because I don't need those right now. Okay. As you can tell, got a lot of terrain going on here. It may not seem very big from this perspective, but the second you go down, 
big massive difference so you know if I move forward there ain't no trees because that's the calling system is doing its work I had just actually started doing biome information um, this morning but I wanted to optimize the calling system so apparently the biomes aren't working because I did something to it but I have a sandy desert as well it's just not showing up for some reason even though it should but yeah, as you can tell, there's a lot of terrain going on here. It, so from up above, it doesn't seem like much. Which is actually, in reality, 20 square kilometers of terrain. And this is where my player is at. And as you can tell, the trees around the player are the only thing rendered right now. Granted, I mean, that's a lot of trees rendering, so I have to optimize that quite a bit. That's the reason we're still getting a lot of overdraws because I have to um, change the cell size and stuff like that. But I got to optimize a little bit more. That way, I'm not doing a bunch of calculations. I can just do a single for every single cell in the game and save maybe 70, 80%. What the heck is this? <laughs> okay, that's a bug. <laughs> oh gosh, how does that even work? I don't even know how that works. What? Okay, I'm going to have to figure that one out. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> what? Okay, then. But, yeah, besides that bug, I got other things to worry about. And obviously, the water, I think. What the heck is going on here? Huh. Yeah, I want to figure that out. Something's going on here. But aside from that, whatever's causing that, I have to figure that out. Yeah, I gotta work on water sources. Um, I'm trying to make the generator detect certain depths. I guess you could say like like this hole right here. That way it'll place water just in these low lying areas instead of way up top of mountains and stuff. Well, I don't mind on being on top of mountains actually as long as they're fitting in a specific spot. But um, yeah. Um, if y'all have any questions besides what's causing this. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yep, I'll be glad to answer. And whenever I figure out what's going on with this, I'll let everyone know too, because this is really curious. But yeah, as you can tell, performance is superb, way more than what it was before. Um, yeah, all right. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to ask and take care and have a good day or night. Thank you.